Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Efren. I'm a designer. I also love building their projects. And uh, in today's video, uh, we're going to use this machine. So this uh, 4x8 DIY CNC machine to do a first cut. Uh, alongside with that is uh, we're going to test uh, three different type of uh, CNC bits that I'm going to use for this machine. And we're going to compare uh, when uh, using or cutting a one half inch uh, plywood for that. So basically, the, the three uh, CNC bits that we're going to use for this one for our first test is a compression bit, uh, 1 8 inch, and then a 1 8 inch upcut bit. And uh, the other one is two, uh, 1 8 inch, two float uh, straight bit. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and let's go to the test. Now guys, uh, this is our first test. For this uh, first test is we are going to use a compression bit. So this uh, will leave us a very clean cut from the top and also at the bottom. And unfortunately for the second uh, test is we, we didn't get any video for that one. And then for the third uh, test, uh, this is our video. So as you can see, uh, it's cutting. So in this case, we're using a two float a straight in mill or bit. So all of this in mill, uh, we're just going to use one A. So and guys, uh, this is the last sample that I made. So this one is cut uh, using the straight bit. So the, the bit is inside or uh, in the spindle. So we're going to take this one out right now and we'll see and compare the three uh, bits uh, when it's cutting some shit goods. So let's remove this one and uh, remove or pop out the rest of the cut. Part. So just like this, as you can see, I can just easily pop them out. So yeah, so I'm just going to continue this one and let's see uh, the three samples that I made using this one. So I'm going to continue this. So you guys, so I already have uh, here all the uh, samples that I have. So this one is the first one using the compression bit. And I also have the second one, which is this one, is the second one. So this one is using the up cup bit. And then the third one, which is this one, using the street bit. So I'm just going to show you uh, the comparison uh, side by side. And I'm going to take the, the, the camera and uh, we do, we're going to do a close-up so that uh, you can really see uh, the difference of uh, cutting uh, output for this uh, three uh, CNC bit for this one. And uh, we're going to conclude uh, what, uh, what bit that I'm going to use uh, onwards uh, for this particular kind of uh, projects. Okay, so here are the three samples that I made using my CNC machine and using three different bits for this particular project. So this one is the first one, as you can see. Yan. And then this one is the second one. So that's the design. So I uh, intentionally choose this particular design because I want it to be complicated because I want this one to be a sample. Yeah, this is the third one using the straight bit. The second one is up bit. Uh, up, uh, the second one is a up bit. So this is the close up. So as you can see, this one is compression bit. So this one is the topmost. So as you, as you can see, so as you can see here is the top portion of the plywood. So there's not that much of a hairy effect. Yan. Compared to the upcut bit, which is this one, as you can see. 
there's a lot of hairy so i don't really like the the quality of the cuts for the up, up cut bit so it's still uh sandable so i can sand this one to remove the uh furry effect for that uh, up cut bit so that's the quality so this one is the top portion so as you can see very very not good compared to the up cut with the down cut which is the compression bit i do really like this uh, quality and then this one is the street bit so as you can see this one is the top portion so somewhat closer quality to the eye as you can see somewhat closer to the compression bit so that's the top portion and then i'm going to reverse this one oh i think this one is the back portion so the quality is way too good for that one so this one is the top portion actually i just reversed this one so it's still uh good the quality compared to this one very hairy so i think uh if i'm not going to get another uh compression bit one eighth then i'm just going to use uh easily the straight bit comparing the quality of cut so i'm just uh as you can see there's uh, some hair but it's very minimal so i'm just i can just uh, remove this one by easily sanding this one so i think that's gonna be it so i just going to choose between the three so in guys uh i am actually happy for this uh output for my samples design samples so i have uh, actually a lot of uh, design samples but then i just choose these three designs uh, because i just going to try and test uh what's the quality of these three bits so yeah so i think that's gonna be it for the first cut of this machine so yeah so finally uh, i can really choose what bit that i'm going to use for this type of project so uh, first choice is uh of course uh here is the output so compression bit i do really like uh, the quality of cuts from the uh, back portion and the front portion so it's just gonna be a small ca sanding so very very good of quality then the next one if i didn't uh, all of my uh, compression bit is gone so here is the straight bit so still acceptable uh, it's not that much of a hairy uh, corners so i still have that one and then uh, the one that i will not use again is of course the up cut bit so basically the back portion is very clean because it's, it's cutting upward but then the top portion because this one is kind of doing uppercut so a lot of fuzzy a lot of hair so i don't really like this one it will give uh, it will uh, it will require a lot of uh, energy sanding this one and cleaning so yeah so by the way uh, i almost uh, forgot so the compression bit that i've been using for the first try as you can see it snaps it's not because uh, when uh, everything is done the cut is done I'm very happy for that one and then I uh, push the uh, go to zero and then it uh, goes to zero but then first it goes down first and then go to uh, X zero and then Y zero and then for, uh, when it uh, going to the Y zero uh, it uh, run into the uh, metal uh, anchoring or fixing that i'm using for this machine which is this one here a flat bar so that's why it's uh it's not so the other half of this one i don't know where it uh, is now but then yeah so next time i will be uh, very careful in uh, homing the machine <laughs> so yeah so i think that's gonna be it for this uh, video uh, if you've uh, reached this part of the video then uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give I this video a like and see you next time for another DIY projects and my name is Efren and bye bye peace